health coach and personal trainer Debbie here for you today. Happy Wednesday. This living room workout is going to be done with body weights and water bottles. So no excuses. If you don't have any dumbbells, you can still work out. So we are marching in place right now. We are getting warmed up. So this is my own personal workout and it might not be suitable for you. Always before starting any diet or exercise program, you consult with your physician. If you decide to work out with me today, you do so at your own risk. I want everybody to be safe. So if you're doing a living room workout with me, have some tennis shoes on. You will notice I don't have tennis shoes on later on in the video, you'll notice. Um, that's because I had my big toe removed. So it needs to air out. So I promise I'm gonna be as safe as possible. Um, also, stand tall. Stand tall and have a tight core. So pull that belly button in towards the back of the spine. If you have a heart rate monitor, let's check our heart rates. Let's see, mine's at 107. So lift those legs up a little higher. I hope you can join me. Um, I want to inspire you to move. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this video. Um, I'm doing this video for women around my age and older. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. So let's start um, moving side to side. We're going to warm up those shoulders. So add those arm raises. The music you hear in the background, it's Fit Radio. Um, anybody can listen to it online. I do believe they let you try it for free for 30 days and then you subscribe. And right now we're just listening to some techno house music. I might change it. I might, you know, get out of camera range if I don't like the music. All right, let's warm up the back of our legs. So let's do some. I call them butt kicks. <laughs> so just uh, move those heels to your glutes. Stand tall. Pull that belly button in towards the back of the spine. We are warming up our hearts, our lungs, our muscles, and our joints. Give me a smile. All right, guys. So I'm going to try to keep this workout 20, 30 minutes. So we're going to do one set of, of each body part. Um, we're going to just be focusing on the upper body. If we have time, we'll move to the lower body. But we'll just it just depends on how much time we have. All right, let's check our heart rates. Mine is at 115. Where is yours at? Okay, so we are just gonna start from the top and work our way down. So we are gonna do some shoulder exercises. And I am gonna use, these are one quart bottled waters they weigh about four and a half pounds a piece. Okay, so they're perfect for your shoulders. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of make an L. We're gonna raise these up front and side at the same time. So right now you are working your anterior and middle deltoids, your shoulder. So, like I said, stand tall, smile, pull that belly button in towards the back of the spine. All 
All right, let's do eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I take a lot of water breaks. Good job. I take a lot of water breaks. So I'm going to drink some water. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Now we're going to work the back of our shoulders. So grab those same water bottles. Grab a handy dandy chair. If you need time to go get that chair, go ahead. So what we're going to do is we're going to lean over. We're going to hinge at our hips. We're going to pull our belly buttons in towards the back of our spine. And then we're just going to raise these water bottles out to the side. So raise them. Raise them. And what I want you to do is I want you to focus on the backs of your shoulders. So we're going to make a mind muscle connection. Focusing on the muscles that we are working. Okay. All right. Let's do eight more. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Good job, guys. All right. Now let's move down to our chest. So we are going to do some push-ups. I want you to do as many push-ups as you can. Um... If you can't do a push-up, you can do them up against the wall. You can do them up against your counter. You can do them on your knees or on your toes. But when you do a push-up, you just want to make sure uh, you are as tight as a board. Okay? You want your back to be straight. Everything should be in line. All right. So give me as many as you can. I'm going to give you 15 more. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good job. Good job, guys. How many did you do? So how many ever you did this time, I want you to do a couple of more the next time. All right, let's get a drink of water. And we are going to work on our back. We are going to work our upper back. Um, so I'm actually going to grab uh, one gallon jugs for my back. Now, uh, you can keep it to the quart size water bottles if you need to. We're going to be working our upper back, so make that mind-muscle connection. Pull that belly button in towards the back of the spine. Stand tall. Hinge at your hips. And then we are going to lift the water and lower. So when we lift, we're squeezing our shoulder blades together, making that mind-muscle connection. Really focusing on that upper back. All right, so let's do uh, 12 more. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good job. All right, get a drink of water. We are going to work our biceps and our triceps. So let's do triceps first. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do triceps. Um, I'll just show you real quick. You can do um, extensions here, like this, overhead extension, or you can do what they call tricep kickbacks. So you're hinging at your hips, you're pulling in that belly button, you have a little bend in your knees and your elbows stay real close to your sides. These are called tricep kickbacks. You can get on the floor, you can do skull crushers. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you can see me. Ah! Okay, let's see. I never checked this out, but anyways, your hands and water bottles are over your chest. You're going to bend at your elbows, and your hands are going to come close to your ears, and you're going to lift them back up, lower, back up. That's called a skull crusher. We are actually going to use the chair. And we're going to do tricep dips. Okay. I love tricep dips. No weights required. So. All right, let's do 15. Let's just get right to it. Slide off that chair, lower, squeeze your triceps. Lower, lift up, squeeze those triceps. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. Good job. All right, let's do some bicep curls. I'm going to use the one gallon jugs for the bicep curls. All right, you know how to do this. Stand tall, keep those elbows close to your side. And just lift and lower, lift and lower. Focus on that bicep. All right, let's do 10 more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, guys. Get a drink of water. Um, so, 
What you're going to want to try to do is you're going to want to try to do resistant training at least three times a week. 20 to 40 minutes is all you need. And if you just do one set of each exercise, you're going to be good. That's going to raise your metabolism up about 5%. So... Not only are you making your muscles stronger, your bones stronger, you're also raising your resting metabolism. Up to three days after your workout. So that's really good. We're gonna do some bird dogs. Bird dogs are gonna work your lower back. All right. So the goal of the bird dog is the stretch and to stay square, okay? I don't want one side of your hip raising above the other side. They need to be even. So lift your right arm, your left leg, okay? And I want it to be even. Pull that belly button in towards the back of the spine. I want you to look like a board. All right. Lower, other side. Lower, other side. So, switch. We're going to hold for like four seconds. And then we're going to switch. Switch, switch, keep going, keep going, we're going to do two more. So that's one, and two. Good job, guys. I think we're at the 20 minute mark. We are gonna move to towards our ab muscles. So what you can do is you can grab either your quart bottle or your gallon and we're going to do what is called Russian twists. I hope you can see me. Might have to adjust this. There we go. So good. Okay, I can see. So you want to be up on your sit bones. Up on your sit bones here. I want you to keep the weight close to you, but I want you to twist side to side. And while you're twisting, you're pulling that belly button in towards the back of your spine. Okay? So, let's do this for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. All right. Keep that water close pull that belly button in towards the back of your spine we are halfway done five more seconds very good all right so now we are going to work our lower abs. And how what we're going to do is we're just going to lift our legs up. And then we're going to lower. Lift our legs up and lower. So while you're doing this, you want to make sure you don't have a curve in your spine. So you want to make sure when you come down that that lower back is pushed into the floor. 
If it starts to arch up, then you can't, you need to stop where it starts arching up. So it might look like this. Some people might get it all the way down. Everybody's different. So lift and lower. Keep that lower back into the ground. All right? All right. So let's do this for 15 more seconds. When you're doing this, make sure your stomach isn't puffing out. You still have to pull that belly button in towards the back of your spine. Five more seconds. Very good. Hug your knees. Now we're going to do some crunches. All right. So what I like to do is I like to keep my hands on my shoulders. You can keep your head rested in your hands if you like. I don't do it that way because I don't want to pull on my head and neck. So what I do is I just keep my hands on my shoulders and then I lift up and twist, down, up and twist, down, up and twist. All right, so let's do this for 30 seconds. Keep going. I'm timing it. This engages your upper and the sides of your ab muscles. We are almost done, guys. Five more seconds. All right, we are done. So, that was a nice, quick upper body workout. Didn't you like that? If you want to, you can do that again one more time. Go through that again, and that would be a 40-minute workout, if that's what you want to do. Other than that, we are at 22 minutes. And I did some talking and we had some resting. So let's check our heart rates, 88. So I'm kind of cooled down. Um, if you want to uh, stretch the chest, just clasp your hands behind your back and then lift it up a little. Puff out that chest a little bit. That will, that will, uh, Stretch your chest, opposite, clasp your hands and round forward. That'll stretch out your back. Hold it for about 15 seconds. Let it go. You can stretch out your triceps like this. Pat yourself on the back. Good job, guys. Good job. A little bit goes a long way and consistency is the key. All right, let's uh, loosen up our necks a little bit. So let's just look down and up, down and up. It's always good to warm up and cool down. And I like to uh, loosen up my neck in the cool down because we hold a lot of tension in our necks and our shoulders. So ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Smile, smile. It's been a couple of years since I've done a YouTube workout. Um, so you're going to be seeing more of this on YouTube. All right, let's take a deep breath in. And then out. So what I want you to do is breathe in for four seconds. 
And then I want you to blow out for eight. So breathe in like you're smelling some flowers. And breathe out like you're blowing out candles. Very good, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.